good morning children today we can start our next topic states of matter dear children observe different types of matter around you what are its different states we can see that matter around us exists in three different states solid liquid and gas these states of matter arise due to the variation in the characteristics of the particles of matter okay now let us study about the properties of these three states of matter in detail okay first we can study solid collect the following articles a pen a book and a piece of stone then sketch the shape of the above particles in your notebook by moving a pencil around them okay do like this do all of these have a definite shape distinct boundaries and a fixed volume can you say the answers of these questions what happens if they hammer are these capable of diffusing into each other then are you able to compress them all the above are examples of solids all these have a definite shape distinct boundaries and fixed volume solids have a tendency to maintain their shape when subjected to outside force solids may break under force but it is difficult to change their shape so they are rigid solids have negligible compressibility we cannot compress solids consider the following examples what about a rubber band can it change its shape on stretching is it a solid actually a rubber band changes shape under force and regains the same shape when the force is removed if excessive force is applied it breaks what about sugar when kept in different jars these take the shape of the jar are they have a definite shape of course they have definite shape the shape of each individual sugar remains fixed whether we take it in our hand put it in a plate or in a jar what about a sponge we can compress it easily but we have already told that we cannot compress solid so my question is is it a solid yeah of course a sponge is a solid the reason is sponge has minute holes in which air is trapped when we press it the air is expelled out and we are able to compress it only the air is expelled out okay so these are the properties of solid that means they have definite shape distinct boundaries fixed volume and and have negligible compressibility they are rigid okay so dear students please read page number 4 2 or 3 times okay thank you